Hello dear friends, welcome to Shiksha Mantra. And in Shiksha Mantra, we are planning what to share with you. We were planning to share with you something unique, something that would be of much use for the students of any level. It doesn't matter whether he is in school or in a college or in some competitive exams. Whenever you have to learn something, the quality of the chapter you are learning is also equally important quality in the sense of usability. We use so many things in English grammar, in our English sentences, but most of the time we don't care what rules are working behind it. What's the theorem? What's the factor? So, what we must do? We must learn the basics of those things. And here, we are going to discuss something which is of such an important that you just can't imagine what help it would be for you. So, stay with us. Follow this discussion till the end and obviously you are going to learn some very very important factors. So let's begin our discussion. So before we start it's better for us to go to a particular sentence and uh, begin our discussion with it. So this is the sentence I'm talking of. The car was very slow. Besides, it was very expensive. So here, I would like to ask you to read the sentence properly and very minutely. The car was very slow. Besides, it was very expensive. Now you'll say, sir, what's the what's the typical things that you are talking about here in this sentence? It's quite quite easy. Yes, we can very easily understand that you are using besides here, but so what? We use besides in our sentences. Is there anything very much uh, critical in it? Just tell me, dear students. Have you really very keenly observed the punctuation in the sentences? Have you observed this semicolon? Have you observed this comma? Now, if I ask you which parts of speech besides belong to, you would very easily say, so this is a conjunction. Why? Because it's adding two clauses. Was very slow, was very expensive. So two clauses are there. And it's a joining two clauses. So this is a conjunction. Yes, dear friends. I am also saying this is a conjunction. But there's a but in it. It's a conjunction, but not conjunction. Rather, this is an adverb that I want to tell you. This is an adverb but it's performing the function of a conjunction. Yes, dear friends, this is the most important point that I want to share with you. This is an adverb, but it's functioning as a conjunction. So it's a different thing. If you say, I have a red t-shirt and my brother has a yellow one. Will you put a semicolon or a comma with and? Just tell me. Will you do this? You won't. Because and is there a conjunction? But here we are using a semicolon and comma and semicolon and comma with a conjunction 
can it be normal it can't it can't be normal it's something else and what's that something else our task is to find it out and we are trying to find it out there this is why i'm telling you i'm telling you very clearly this is an adverb it's functioning as a conjunction so what do we call it this is what you want to learn what do we call it and here we will discuss what we call it yes dear friends we call it a conjunctive adverb have you heard this uh, term for the first time obviously you haven't i know it you have learnt about conjunctive obviously you have learnt a bit about conjunctive or you have listened to this word conjunctive but this is an adverb that's why i have told you it's a conjunction sorry it's an adverb that's working as a conjunction so we call it conjunctive adverb we call it adverbial conjunctions and also subordinating adverb but what's the fact the fact is the definition is written there if you want to get the definition you can pause the video and write it down i'm discussing the definition here so subordinating adverb this is an adverb and what is the function of this adverb the function of the adverb is to connect two clauses and when they connect these two clauses they do a magic and what's that magic they convert the clause which they actually introduce uh, in that case besides besides it was very expensive so it was very expensive that clause was introduced by besides so what besides do it converts the clause into an adverbial modifier of the verb in the main clause so what we have said the car was very slow so was very slow was very expensive so it's the second clause it's actually performing as an adverbial modifier for the verb of the main clause so it's an adverb it's performing the task of a conjunction though its true color is an adverb so this is the discussion for us the conjunctive adverb the very term speaks of its definition it's conjunctive and it's not conjunction if you consider it as a conjunction you have to remember that this is only an adverbial conjunction and obviously the two clauses they connect they are of the equal rank there's a long list of these conjunctive adverbs you'll get the conjunctive adverbs and its list in my telegram channel i'll put it there in my telegram channel and the link would be there in the description below from there you can visit my telegram channel and you'd get the complete list of the conjunctive adverbs it's very difficult to put the list here and to discuss of the conjunctive adverbs each and every one so what's the most important i'm going to discuss it the most important is the fact that these are the conjunctions like used adverbs adverbs but used like conjunction so when these are the adverbs and used as conjunctions obviously they would have some particular function to follow so what function they follow we are going to discuss it here the functions of the conjunctive adverbs or uh, this is very much important for you for the conjugation of sentences for synthesis particularly for synthesis so where to use them when you have to use a conjunctive adverb you have to remember they are used to show sequence it's a better to change the color yes otherwise it would be difficult so to show sequence 
we use adverbial conjunctions or conjunctive adverb to so contrast cause and effect and there's also some other relationships so let's have an example and find out what it actually does she went into the store however she didn't find anything she wanted to buy so here we have two clauses it's a better let's uh, change the color okay she went into the store this is the main clause yes dear friends here it's a verb and this is the main clause for this sentence this is the main clause so what happens she went into the store but what's the result she didn't find anything she wanted to buy so why do we go to store we go to store to buy something but there's a contrast however our purpose wasn't shocked when this verb is being modified here with this clause and it is started with however and here we must remember that however is actually an adverb this is a conjunctive adverb so this is the point uh, that uh, we have to remember for this uh, adverbial conjunctions or conjunctive adverbs they are used for these purposes only where you find these purposes you would use a conjunctive adverb and then the most important point that you have to remember when you are using conjunctive adverbs don't forget to use a period or a semicolon before the conjunctive adverb when separating two independent clauses these two clauses are independent clauses we are separating them with a conjunctive adverb and a semicolon is a must but why the semicolon is so very important why remember what you are using here as a conjunction you are using here as a conjunction i'm repeating it it's used as a conjunction but it's not a conjunction that means it's not so much powerful as that of a conjunction because this is an adverb so an adverb cannot be as powerful as a conjunction so it needs some support and here the punctuation is supporting the construction if you make a mistake in the punctuation your construction won't stand that would be a sure mistake okay so semicolon and comma use of these punctuations for conjunctive adverbs are very very essential and you have to learn it in a very particular way but how what rules to follow here we are going to discuss it what you have to follow we have spoken of semicolon now it's time for us to discuss comma but before we start our discussion i would ask you to have a look at these two sentences i cleaned my room then i went to the store you are my friend nonetheless i feel like you are taking advantage of me can you tell me if there is any difference in these two sentences obviously there is a difference between these two sentences but what's that difference if you have find it out pause the video here write it down in the comment and tell me what differences you have found out should i wait it's better not to wait here let me continue it if you have found it out write it down in the comment because that would help your learning process your learning process for the conjunctive adverbs so why lies the difference just have a look at it at uh, this point and this point in both the sentences we have used semicolons but here we have used comma but for the first sentence we haven't used any comma so how it works how it works you may pause the video here and read what's written there in the uh, blackboard uh, that's the rules you may write it down as well it would be better if you uh, write it down but uh, let me discuss it 
So here we are using conjunctive adverbs for both the sentences. Now it's time for you to pronounce the conjunctive adverbs. These two conjunctive adverbs here just pronounce them. Then nonetheless. Then nonetheless. Nonetheless. It's not monosyllabic, but then this is monosyllabic. So the rules is very simple. When you are going to discuss a monosyllabic word, when your discussion is with a monosyllabic word, what you have to do? You don't have to use a comma here. And when the conjunctive adverb is not a monosyllabic word, you have to use a comma. The rules is very simple. Semicolon and comma, these two are obvious. But if the conjunctive adverb is monosyllabic, comma is not needed. So that's all. It's all about your learning of conjunctive adverb. You'll get the list in my telegram channel. I'll put the link here and let me stop it. Let me stop the discussion here. We are returning very soon with another fresh discussion of your interest and obviously of great worth. So till then stay tuned with us. We are returning very soon. Bye bye. Happy learning.